Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Tactical Chaos here with some Ghost Recon Breakpoint Outfit Idea Character Recreation Tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over my new little operator that I put together. It's like a cyberpunk nomad, bro. I absolutely love it. See you guys, this is what happens when I get bored when there's no new content coming out for Ghost Recon. Um, you know, I start getting into these weird video character creation, trying to make the coolest looking operator that I can in Breakpoint. So today I came up with this. So I just went and bought the Tiger Stripe camo. Because, I mean, Tiger Stripe, Tiger Stripe just looks dope as fuck anyway. So I got that from the store today. And along with the Yellow Cake hoodie that I've had for a good minute, I put together a pretty sick operator. Uh, before we get into um, every item and every detail of my operator, I, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome and thank you guys for watching. It's Tactical Chaos on the Grind. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. If so, and you guys want to help me grow the channel, you guys just slide on down and click that sub button real quick. Don't forget to pop that notification bell so you guys do not miss out on any new Tactical Chaos on the Grind uploads. Alright, you guys. So let's actually get into a little bit of detail of what I did with this operator. So keep in mind, guys, this is not a Milsim realistic operator. It is a Milsim mixed with a cyberpunk, you know, uh, weird creation operator. You know, it's just a little bit of freedom having fun making some dope-ass characters. Um, so check it out. What we did first is with the hair, I put on the mohawk. Absolutely got to have the punk rock mohawk for this. Uh, for my beard, I put on the... Mustache D. Wait, I don't know why that's on. It is supposed to be medium stubby. There we go. Put on medium stubby. It doesn't really matter though when I got the face mask on. Um, for my face paint, I put on the shredded T800. Give it a little bit of that cybernetic cyborg uh, kind of image. I know it, the face paint's not too in detail. I mean, they could have done a way better job, but it's still pretty cool for this uh, operator. So for my tattoos, I did the robot arm for the left, and for the right, I just did morning. So that way it's like one side is cyborg, and then one side is regular. You got the uh, robot arm, it's the same face as the T-800 face paint. Alright, let's go over to my uh, gear outfit. So for my um, chest piece, I have the Smurfs Molly Hunter's chest ring. Uh, you get from Operation Motherland. I got this all black. And for my backpack, I have Nomad's backpack, the Nomad Amp 24 with Tiger Stripe camo on it. For my glasses, I got John Kozak's glasses, regular black. Headset, I got the Peltor Comtac headset, all black. Of course. And the Yellow Keg Top with the Tiger Stripe camo. The Yellow Keg Top, um, you do have to get from the store. It's got the little interface on the arm, and it's an original black hoodie. So, uh, and along with the Tiger Stripe, you do have to get that from the store, too. I'm sorry, guys. Um, that kind of sucks if you guys don't have it already. But, um, I love making my characters, so sometimes I'm willing to spend money. I wish you could earn these things instead of having to pay for them but y'all yeah, know how ubisoft is always hitting us with that sideball shady shit but it's whatever so um let's go on with the build my face mask is a future soldier uh face mask with camo netting camo oh um regular ultra light um tbe knife for melee and when i do rock uh my nods on Night Ops with this operator, I'll be using the Steiner Vision, all black. And for the helmet I'll be wearing, will be Ops Core Fast Helmet, covered with Tiger Strike Camo on it. Gloves, hard shell gloves. Actually, let's change the hard shell to something more, a little bit, uh, you know, cyborgy. So, um, let me see. We are going to put on, how about the Force Echelon gloves? We'll look pretty sick with that. Ah, no, wrong ones. Here, fourth echelon. Fourth echelon, there we go. So then we're going to go for the pants. We're going to go ahead and put on, uh, or keep on fix it pants with Tiger Strike Camo. Making it look pretty sick. Now, the thing about fix it pants, what makes these so dope is 
you have a radio on the leg, you have an extra pouch, and up here, um, well, if you don't have the Schmerz harness on, then you got a, a few extra grenade pouches up there and a side pouch like you get a, I don't know, I guess imagine that it's either for dropping mags in, like an empty mag pouch or a water bottle, whatever the hell, but on the back of the belt. So Fix's Pants adds a little bit more detail to your operators, so they're always cool to rock. And then for the shoes, we got the UA Speed Freak shoes with no camo on them. Regular Spec Op style. For your patch, I mean, use whatever patch you want. Um, I'm going to think I'm going to go ahead and switch out the American flag for something a little bit techy. And that's kind of Maybe it's kind of Who knows? That might look good, but I think I'm going to go with... Um, Bloody Skull, Ghost Recon, Bloody Skull, that looks sick. Alright, you guys, so here is my Nomad Cyberpunk version Spec Ops Operator. Thank you guys for watching this Tactical Chaos. Hope you guys enjoyed the video or found it helpful. If you guys do decide to recreate this character, shoot me a message. Let me know what's up. Let me know if you guys liked it or not. And... Um, if you guys got any ideas or any questions or anything you would like to see in further videos, get at me in the comment section below. And if you want to join the Discord, I'll drop you guys a link. And 100, I will see you on the next video.